Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my home. All right guys, uh, what's up? Matt here. And what we're going to do today is a bit of a quick house tour to kind of show you where I live. This is my wife, Sammy. You may have Hi. seen her in one of our other videos. If you haven't seen that Q&A video, we will link it up here somewhere. Um, basically, this is our house. So we live in Sydney. Sydney is a, a place sort of similar to like Manhattan where it's like, like very, very condensed housing, right? So we have a long, thin and tall house. Yes. Um, so come this way, this is the family room. We're a bit into like collectible stuff. So like all through here, this is all family stuff. So big family photo type individuals in this house. So lots and lots of family photos, lots of kids stuff. Uh, this is one of our dear departed dogs up there, little Bounty, who is an exact replica of that little... These are our Halloween decorations. We love to get into holiday spirits of all kinds. This is one out of ten of what we're doing for Christmas though, so don't you worry. This is the kids' little table. So this is the main living area. Uh, this is my baby. What is this, 85? Yeah, I think so. I think it's 85. Please. I love this thing. It's good to go. I think it's a good a good width for what we got going on here, right? These are pretty cool. We actually got these on a holiday, right? At Noosa. These are all like hand painted, so. Because me and Sammy are quite busy because we got two kids. We got obviously multiple businesses. We got things that we're doing. So we have a private chef that does our meals for us. This is sweet and sour pork. It's a great way to do it, actually. Uh, it saves us a whole lot of time, saves us just a bunch of hassle, and then we get like very, very healthy because we have like specific requirements. My wife is gluten and dairy free because of all you know kinds of stuff like that. So um, yeah, so it, it makes it like a lot easier for us to be able to just kind of not have to think about stuff, and just kind of go for it. And then we have a giant parent flex down here. Our kids eat. These. This is literally the only yogurt they will eat. I've tried every other brand, every other flavor, refuses. And you know what? It keeps them quiet it's in a pouch and gives me two minutes or three minutes of yeah. bliss. <laughs> yeah. And then because, like, obviously the kitchen isn't huge, my wife has systemized it to the point. It's not super tidy. It's pretty good yeah. though, right? Considering we've got two kids rummaging around all day. <laughs> yeah. Right? So just kind of got everything there. So that's the kitchen. All right guys, this is like the games room. So it leads out to the trampoline, little li li living area, and then the pool, right? That pool is fucking icebergs, right? It's not heated. And they managed to put a pool, they managed to put a pool in a place that never gets sun. Or so, very little sun. Yeah, we haven't been in this house very long. We've only been in this house for like, say seven or eight months. I think maybe not even that long. Um, so we've, I've been in there a little bit. We actually have a sauna upstairs that we'll show you. So um, that's kind of the, the, the cold and the hot, right? So we have a nice big family couch. We love like Nintendo, right? So because we got little kids, it's like we're gonna be, you know, PC gaming or Xbox Five or anything like that. So we like to create a nice big space for the kids to be able to play on the TV over there. And lots then of Mario got... Kart, lots of Super Smash Brothers yeah. for the 90s kids watching out there. That's pretty much all we have. So over here, because like the one thing when you got kids is that you don't ever wanna have fights about stuff. So we just buy lots of everything. So we have four Nintendo Switch lights, right? One for each of us, two pink, two, two blue essentially. So we got two girls, two guys, right? Because uh, I have a daughter and a son. So we got those so we don't have any fighting over the Nintendos. This is the Nintendo 64, okay? So we got set up and then we have the Nintendo Switch itself and then we got all the controllers set up for it. So we should have enough. The kids come over, the friends come over and we're gonna be fine. And so I'd just no like fighting. to point out that this Nintendo 64 is from 1999 from when I was 10 years old and I saved all my pennies and bought it. So this has literally been mine since I was 10. All right guys, so welcome to the master bedroom, right? We have a little bit of a change in microphone, right? This is the new Rode spatula mic. Nice big bedroom. Okay, that's one of the reasons why I really like this house was because the master bedroom is really nice and big, heaps of closet space. Um, and then we look straight out onto the balcony, which looks out onto the Harbor Bridge, right? So we've got the nice king bed. We recently got this nice fluffy cloud couch and some beautiful little Hermes blankets. Yeah, because you know, why not? YOLO, right? Um, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So this is our master bedroom. We love it. We do, and we like Pokemon as well. We do like Pokemon. <laughs> and so yeah. You'd think this is my children's stuff, but I am also a child at heart, so it is not, it is mine. So this is the balcony from our bedroom. 
And as you can see, there's a beautiful view of the Harbour Bridge. And as someone who's grown up in Sydney my whole life, this is a pretty huge goal to smash. Um, because it don't come cheap. Something I love to collect is handbags. As you can see, I have one or two. Um, I guess my favorite brands would be Chanel and Louis. I just love them and I actually do use every single one of them. Um, just, it's always outfit dependent. And then I got some shoes as well. So wife's like handbags. I sort of, I'm more of a watch guy. I haven't got a huge amount of watches, but I do like two brands, which is Breitling and Rolex. So I have uh, three Breitlings right now uh, and one Rolex. Uh, I think maybe by the time this video airs, I might have another one. But this one in particular is pretty cool, right? So um, this one was, uh, that's a unit only one. So that's one that was presented to all the guys that were in my SF unit. Um, and that box is like an alligator skin box that was given to me. My wife is a present, which is super nice. This is my daughter's room, Summer. She's almost three. This is actually probably my favorite room in the entire house, just because First of all, I love my little daughter and it smells like her, which is so nice. And also it's the little girl's room that I wish I always had when I was little. Um, I got to decorate it while we were in lockdown this past four months, which is pretty cool. So everything you see is pretty much Pottery Barn. This is my son's room, Jack, he's five. As you can see, I have very stereotypical children. Summer is very girly and then Jack is very boyish. At the moment, he's really into space. Um, and always dinosaurs and lions. So he's got the cool bunk bed, he's got the cool um, astronaut solar system rug, and then he's got his little solar system mobile. Some of the stuff he's got on his wall he's had from his very first bedroom, from his nursery, that I decorated when I was pregnant with him. So lots of sentimental stuff in here. Uh, yeah, so in here we have a sauna, which is kind of random, but come on in. This is just uh, one of the bathrooms, but because we have little kids, like we don't have a need for a whole bunch of bathrooms, right? So what I did is I was like, man, what's something that'd be really cool to have in my house? It'd be a sauna. This is a really, really good sauna. So if you are in the market for a sauna, only get the best, the best, the best, because otherwise they have like shitty glues and bad woods. Anyway, it'll give you cancer, right? So every single night, me and the wife nude up when we come in here. Um, so this thing gets up to about 60 degrees, which doesn't sound hot in like sauna terms, but it's in a far infrared sauna, right? So these, these panels here, what they do is they produce far infrared beams, which like is basically a kind of heat that just cuts through to the core of you. And you, I lose about uh, one and a half to two kilos in 20 minutes of just sweat. Obviously I'm not losing weight, but, um, and we do that every single night. Since I started doing that, my sleep has my sleep and recovery and all that kind of good stuff have massively increased. There's about seven or 8,000 bucks. I can't really remember to be honest. Um, but I wanted it, so I bought it. I thought it was really cool. There's a shower behind there, but our kids don't use that. They just use our baths and stuff like that. So, but yeah, this is a really fun thing that we have. This combined with our ice pool, I think Wim Hof would be super happy. So, so there's a bunch of other rooms that are super boring, but I just kind of wanted to show you into our life, into our house. You guys can get a good idea of how we live. Um, I love this house personally. It's not the largest house on the planet, but you know, around here, they're pretty expensive. So um, I think it's a really good space to raise the kids, all that kind of good stuff. Having a pool is awesome. But uh, for now, it was nice having you and uh, it's time for you to get the fuck out. So have a good day. Bye.